So after Lindsay Hoyle's disaster that took place last night in the Commons, what's happening now is that Lindsay Hoyle is having to beg for his job back. He's meeting the leaders of all parties, especially those from the SNP and the Tories, along with their chief whips. MPs aren't letting this go. They are, it seems, pretty determined to get rid of Lindsay Hoyle for breaking precedent. Did you also know that Labour tried to move when the other parties didn't want to vote on this to have the whole debate made private? So nobody would have known what was said and nobody would have known how they voted. How very convenient for Starmer. He's actually caused himself a lot more problems here than he needed to. He could have just gone through the vote let his backbenchers vote against him and left it at that. But no, he's caused chaos inside Parliament. He's annoyed the Speaker of the House and made what is obvi obvious Labour fence sitting, which has become a trademark under Starmer, come right to the front. And people can see that they're so afraid to take a position on anything that they're even willing to try and sacrifice the Speaker of the House and free debate. It should not be a private debate. This is not an issue that affects Britain. This is not an issue that affects our daily lives. This is something taking place in the Middle East. And if those mobs want to keep roaming the country, trying to stymie British democracy, then I'll tell you what, go to Gaza, take up arms and go and fight for the place yourselves. Because we don't want you and we don't want your sectarianism.